Hi, um, we're here with Terry L. Williams, our Studio K exhibiting artist. We're going to talk a little bit about his background, his uh, process and inspiration. So welcome, Terry. Thank you very much. Glad to be here. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Um, so tell us a little bit about your background. You're, you're, you're born in um, St. Louis? I was born in St. Louis, Missouri in 1966. And uh, I learned, I, find, I, got, I probably got started in art then. I knew I loved art from that point on because we'd always get coloring books from the police station. Mm -hmm. The kids that come by the police station on the way to school, they give us crayons and, and they kind of boosted me up. Like, oh, that's really good. That's, you know, it's like dot the dot, but you don't know that as a kid. So I just really fell in love with the color scheme of things and creating things on my own. So I started freehanding a lot. I do a lot of comics all the marbles. I still can draw them to this day from just in my head. Wow. Spider-Man, <laughs> Batman, Superman. And uh, I got hooked on arts really early and nice. moved to Minnesota in 1974 from Missouri. And I met my mentor, who was a full, who still is a full-time artist, William Svensgaard, and he was a director of the 4-H clubs and they built us a 4-H club in North Minneapolis in 1975. And uh, you could pick a few different things you want to do, performing arts, visual arts, and painting, of course. So me and my brothers and my cousins joined in, and uh, that's pretty much where I take off with the arts work. I got really serious with it by being mentored by somebody who's already really awesome at all kind of different mediums. and. Uh, he would just teach me um, to be inspired by the arts or think outside of the box. Or Because I, I got commercial for a while. I was doing stuff that I liked. I saw in magazines and I'd copy stuff. And I said, I want to do something that's, I always think about Rembrandt or Picasso. And these guys just sitting down with a blank piece of paper and then taking it from there. That's that's the fun part. And that's what I'm doing now. I'm just, I'm painting from, uh, from an emotional, spiritual and I put it all together and let my imagination go wild. And as you can see in some of the good pictures, all self-taught, mm -hmm. self-taught. And then the paper that I'm doing now, <clears throat> the tissue paper, I started that 15 years ago. And uh, it's been the funnest medium I've ever done because it's different. And I didn't see it in, uh, when I've been doing the shows uh, during the summer, I didn't see it, no one was doing it. Mm -hmm. So one day I had this idea, I made a fruit basket for my mom Mother's Day came up, there's her gift. And they would always, my family would say, what are you else are you gonna do with it? And I go, hmm, let me think about that. So yeah. uh, I challenged myself in the creative part of using paper to make images and bring them to life. It's kind of where I'm at now. Yeah, it's a really interesting technique. Um, it adds like a 3D quality. Um, yes. So the process is, you kind of, can you talk about the process yeah. of how you do it a little bit? Or? Well, I, um, I start with a piece of you know blank paper, and on some of them, they have uh, a paper background. So when I say tissue paper, it's from the back to the front through all the layers and even the border. So I draw up the image, and then I put it together. It's my own dot to dot kind of. You know, I draw it up because I want everything to be in a place once I start creating because it's not as forgiving as you think, especially once you glue it in, it's there. So I use different adhesives, some different glues. Um, and then once I build the picture up, I come in behind it with a acrylic overlay. So I think one picture I did years ago, around the time I did that fruit basket, I noticed that the paper would fade. So I started finding out what kind of paper won't fade as much, and I got that done. But you still have to paint everything. So 10 years, 20 years, 30 years down the road, it looks like the finished product instead of changing or fading. Right. So it's, yeah. it's technical, it's tedious, but it's real fun. It yeah. really, really is. It's a really interesting technique. I don't know if you guys can see behind us, we have Jimi Hendrix here, but you need to stop in and see him in person. Um, we do have stuff. a virtual, virtual tour coming up so you can see it online as well um yeah so what's so what's what inspires you to create like uh, i'm an outdoorsman big time just came out the lake actually today that's not why i was a few minutes late but <laughs> i wanted to go home and get cleaned up but terry currently lives in henning minnesota yes so. I've, yeah i moved to henning last year this time last year and 
I know the arts up here were big around Alexandria and for, well, I found this center here, thank God. But uh, I wanted to kind of venture out. I love Minnesota, the art shows that we put on, but I, I kind of had a vision of a few years ago that I just want to do more gallery showings. COVID came, really gave us no choice. I love being out meeting people and stuff like that, but I think this year you kind of set that, like you got to move forward in different areas. So my inspiration comes from outdoors, Minnesota, land of 10,000 lakes. Um, I do a little hunting, so it's wildlife. I'm, I'm in a tree by birds, uh, mountains, suns. When you wake up in the morning, you got a beautiful sunrise, sunsets. You'll see a lot of that in my art. Uh, I call it my signature sun. There, there's a few around here um, <laughs> that I like to paint and bring to life. And my inspiration comes from other artists as well. Uh, I like to walk around and see what they're doing, keep up with the competition or learn something new. Um, but most of it is just a memory that I've seen or remember um, as I grew up here in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. Cool. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to talk about? You do some mentoring? Um... Yes. Well, I think I really stand hard on, um, on mentorship because my mentor, William Savensgaard, who's still living to this day, we have a very, very intimate, close relationship. He's almost like he is my stepdad, I call him. But uh, from what he did for me, from a little you know, black kid in the cities, North Minneapolis, and for a lot of other kids, it really touched me. And it, 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 when I think about it, I speak about him a lot because I always wonder he could have been doing a lot of other things with his life but he really dedicated his 45 years that I've known him 43 to us kids That's awesome. to date mm -hmm. so I got into it and when I was younger he'd always have me come to the workforces through 4-H judging at the county fairs which I still do today judging at the state fair which I try to get in as much as I can judging in uptown but now I'm working more with the kids I go into schools um, do some residential work with them because a lot of arts are being kind of, you know, pushed to the back. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just love working with the kids because it, it, it reminds me of me when I was a child. And uh, I think art is therapeutic. I think it's healing. I think it can change people's mindsets, mm -hmm. attitudes, especially when you're in the creative mode. Kids just, they light up like I was when I was a kid. It's like, wow, this is cool. And I've seen some kids do some way creative work than I've done. So I know I'm doing something good to bring that out of them. You know, yeah. you know things that I would have never thought of, the kids are doing from seven, eight, nine, ten 10, up to 20. But I also work with some elders and disabled who work with challenged. We just dedicate our time to sharing the, the story and memories for them. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yeah. So, is there anything else you want to talk about? No, I'm just I'm excited. I'm glad you got me down here today, finally. Yeah. You guys, you guys are doing an awesome job. It's 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 beautiful. Yeah. So come on down and and put, let me put some smiles on you guys' faces. If nothing else, you'll see some really cool stuff. I hope. Yeah, it's a really cool cool technique that needs to be seen in person. Yeah. Or yeah, it's a little yeah. hard to describe. But or see. yeah, it's it's a, there's a 3D quality that doesn't really come forth unless you unless you're, you see it in person yes. so yeah well thank you terry thank you. it's been it's been a pleasure, My pleasure. <laughs> thank you guys thank you. very much <laughs>